kiddo moving into units. That's, yeah, that's fair. But like, yeah, exactly. Doing well, thanks. Oh, good. I'm so good. I'm so glad you're doing well. But now the office is saying that we have to go down and do a mediation because we filed all these noise complaints within a month. They're like, yeah, we need to do mediation. So now we have to go down and do this mediation with them and be like, yeah, this is what was happening. Like the noise, the, the running got so bad. It knocked some of my bags off the wall at one point. Like, they knocked lounge fly bags off the friggin' wall. Like, it shouldn't be that complicated, you know? Was already lurking, but making it official. Techno words, I love you! Mwah. Contractors used... It's told us contractors used my water hose. <gasps> and they left all their trash in your yard. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh, that's dangerous. We also finally got to introduce ourselves to our neighbors. It was blocking the right of way. Turns out he thought we were more renters and was trying to discourage loud parties. What? We've got two kids. She's up at the crack of dawn and drives driving this uh, school bus. The most noise you might hear is my tow truck and we're buying the place. You ain't gotta worry about that. That's yeah, fair. I was working on stitching and wanted to snuggle in and, uh, and rest while watching and oh boy, oh my God. Kay, hello, how are you, honey? You're, you're definitely snuggling in, but what's going on? Okay, I don't think we have quiet hours. Oh, Kai, that's weird. You need to check in on that because it's usually built into your lease. Yeah, renters are people too. But Kate, my love, I need to show you something. Now that you're here. I... I was bad. I was very bad. I was a very, very bad squirrel. I was a very, very bad squirrel. She's so pretty, but I was a very bad squirrel. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You're so sweet. You're gonna encourage me to be bad too, I know. Our quiet hours are nationwide, so no noise before 8 a.m. and after 10 p.m. That's interesting that it's 8 a.m. How do, 8 a.m., that's really interesting. We're painting the roses red, I know. Comment, I got a wallet to match that. That actually says painting the roses red. Bacon, how are you? It's so good to see you. Or maybe it's seven, haven't looked it up in a while. Yeah, cause I know our complex, it's you have to be quiet from 10 p.m. until 7 a.m. I had an upstairs neighbor that would vacuum at 3 a.m. every night. That's so wild. See, and then somebody said to me the other day that like Roombas and like the automatic vacuums are really noisy for downstairs neighbors. I was like, that's such an interesting thought. I hadn't even thought about the noise level for our downstairs neighbors of the robot vacuum. Like granted, we haven't run ours in a hot minute, but I didn't realize that that could be a thought process, but ugh. This is a pre Roomba? Oh, that's even more wild. Doing spectacular and sassy. Perfect bacon. Perfect, darling. I'm good. I'm doing really well. We are currently crocheting a baby blanket because this is. Damn it. 
This was supposed to be done for a baby shower tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna get it done in time. Unless I somehow become a speed crocheter. But there's the pattern link. Roomba isn't exactly loud. It's the bass that goes up. Yeah, the bass is terrifying. The Hellfire Club stitch. Did you see which... Well, there's a couple of them that are out. Did you see the one from uh, Tuscan Cardinal? This blankie's pretty. Thank you. It's coming out really nice. It's coming out really cute. I'm really happy with it. And... Thank you. See? Cupcake. Gotta love a cupcake. Vintage, thank you for the host, babe. I love you. Thank you so much. Love some cupcakes and muffins. And the mandala yarns are always really gorgeous too. But I got those on clearance ages ago. So like I ended up they were like they were red tag clearance for 450 and I think they were on sale even further and it like took them down to 250 a skein. So for me it was that was a really good deal. But hey listen, here's what we're going to do. I think we should do some show and tell. If you agree and you want to do some show and tell, put some emotes in chat. Let's let's get some hype in chat if you want to do some show and tell. I need new carry-on luggage, so I'm considering this. Your local yarn shop had a 50% off sale, so you got your first Bernat. Nice comment. Tell me more about it. That's a cute bag, that Betsy Johnson bag. That's real cute. That's real cute cake. I like that. So if you don't know what show and tell is, show and tell is we go into our Discord. And we look at the Whips and Finishes channel. And we get inspired by the whole entire community because this community is so damn good at what they do, right? So we go into that channel and we talk about everybody's stuff from today's posts. And if it's something that you finished recently, if it's something that you're working on, put it up. We'll show it on stream. And I think what we should do, now that we've turned the corner on this row, let's get a couple stitches in after the corner. We're going to take a quick stretch break because I've been a very bad streamer and I have not Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> okay, but like, Pony, it's true because I haven't taken a stretch break and I, I I am a piece of garbage. I haven't, I've been a bad streamer. I haven't taken a stretch break yet. So I think what we should do is go take a stretch break. So reach for the sky, touch our toes, refill our water bottle, and I'll run a 90 second ad break during the BRB screen. And so what that'll do is that'll prevent anybody coming in from hitting ads for about half an hour. So if you do not have a little crescent moon next to your name, when you see the BRB screen go up, hit mute on your device for about two minutes. Or put your device down, get up, walk around, get a drink, get a snack, and then let's come back and hang out together. And see everybody's amazing, talented art. Let's do that. So I will see you all in just a couple of minutes.
Still smells like hairspray. Interesting. Hello and welcome back, everybody. Get those pictures in Discord real quick. Make sure you get your images in Discord of everything you've been working on so we can make sure to share everything. Hello, hello. Always wanted to try Bernat Blanket Yarn and I shit you out. $25 Australian is so close. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a lot. But all right, let's get into it. Coffee grind, smush them in your hands and wash in a citrus-based soap. Interesting. I would share what I'm doing right now, but it's massive and technically my mom made it. I'm just finishing it. That's fair, Pony. I mean, you still can. You absolutely still can post it if you want to. But we're going to hang out in the Discord real quick and let us... Showcase starting with There's a lot of pictures in here so we can start from let's start from my birthday Let's start from the 27th Sarah Nadia has a bat It's friggin bats. Look how cute. This is this pattern is adorable Puffles of course they want to laugh always baby always Saren, you are so talented, my dear. I don't know how you do all of this. This is so cute. Puffles wants to make us laugh. Let's see what this is. Some people need a high five in the face with a chair. It's the truth. And I love Spruce Craft. Spruce has some good stuff. How was I not following them? I follow them on every other platform. Why was I not following them here? This snoot is very boopable, Naminé. I agree with you. Azzy, as of the, this was on the 27th. So Azzy had this up here. Okay, so this is the Halloween vibes one that you were talking about. That orange with the black, yeah, that's very Halloween vibes. I, I definitely get you there, boo. I definitely get you there. What? fabric are you stitching on? Like, what count is this? This looks like it could be a 25 or a 28, but I can't tell. Sam posted this. Oh, Sam, look at this. This is so cute. You said this is for your mom. It says knitter. I love it. That is so, that is such a really interesting way to use negative space. I really dig it. Right? That's a really nice way to use negative space. And here's the other thing about this. I'm just looking at this. Hold on. We're going to blow this up here for a second. I think this is a little too zoomed in. Um, here, hold on. Notice the... This is definitely like a... A Quaker style flower. Like for the red. The red motif is very much a Quaker style flower. But it's also mixed in with that vine and some leaves and some other stuff. That's a really interesting pattern design. I really dig that. Oh my goodness, hold on.
talk about that because I have no idea what your opinions are on that. He hasn't finished the year yet, but they're coming out. Like, these are really cute. Like, that's real cute. Like, hold on. I have an autumn lane that I just picked up. So if you're out near Portland, there's this absolutely amazing cross-stitch store about like 20 minutes outside of Portland called, um, oh God, Tanya, if you're still here, what was that store called? I'm blanking right now. I'll remember it as soon as I log off. Is Autumn Lane bad? Do we hate Autumn Lane? Yeah, that's why I'm curious because I have no idea, Emily. The, Tanya, the cross stitch store. Acorn and Threads? Was that what it was called? For some reason, that's what's coming to mind. Okay, it's Acorn and Threads. Thank you, babe. So, they had a whole entire stockpile of different patterns. And I know Autumn Lane was a big one. But the ones that I know I picked up, now that we're talking about fall... Because these were there as well. But the one I think I was thinking of, for some reason, I thought that this one from Lindy. Funny, but when you're near me. Cake, do you mean the, um, the Dark Queen of the Sea? I mean, Dark Queen of the Sea, like, Flower Foxy's modifications to Dark Queen of the Sea was, like, the best thing that could have come out of that, Sal. Really? Good to know. Vintage SoGal with the obnoxious granny square blanket from Sock Yarn Minis. Oh my god. Vintage, my love. Their new dark queen has the can I copy your homework meme? <gasps> Did they steal from Flower Foxy? Did they steal from Flower Foxy? No. Vintage. How many color how many skeins have you used in this? Stormy! Hi babe! How are you? Interesting. Angela, that's really interesting. Because if something happened to Flower Foxy, like, Flower Foxy is one of the most ambitious stitchers I know. So I have no idea. And Zakayla's here. Holy shit, it's a party. Hi, Zakayla. Um, co-worker? Yeeted. Full-time promotion with a looming assistant manager position? <gasps> Achieved. I'm so fucking proud of you. Emily. Yeah, I know, right? I think that was mentioned earlier. There's a vibe that's coming from this. Hold on. Tanya, does this look familiar to you? Does this back outline look familiar to you at all? That's a shake. Shay's a friend of the fam here. 
We love Shay. Well, Cake! Cake, the thing is, is that this was done by them. Dark Queen of the Sea was done by Autumn Lane, wasn't it? Oh, so you're saying it's too similar. You know, no, because that's not the vibe I get. The vibe I get from this is very similar to Nora Corbett's uh, Sea Witch. Like, the vibe I'm getting from this outline is Nora Corbett's Sea Witch pattern. Like, that's the vibe I get. The base, the top half. I can see what you mean, but, like, the hair is... The hair is similar, but there's definite differences. The arms, I see what you mean, though. It looks like she might have swapped her arms. That finger's weird. Anyway, back to the point. I was, uh, stitching a taco ornament, but then I realized I miscounted. I hit a frog. Oh, no! I want to see the taco ornament. Cassandra's a huge Nora fan. That makes a lot of sense, Angela. Yeah, that Mirabella Nora, that Mirabella and, uh, Bella Filipina drama was a bit much for my taste. That was, like, too sassy even for me. I was like, that's petty shit right there. Well, welcome on in, Raiders. My name is Liz. I'm Sleeping Luna Designs, and if you don't know me, I'm a squirrel. Links for all the important stuff is in chat, including the link to the Discord, which we're in right now, looking through all of our whips and finishes. Uh, if you want to join there and post things that you've been working on this week or something that you finished, please do. We're going to talk about it here on stream. Yeah, that drama was wild. The pettiness was so nuts. But anyway, Kay Barton, my dear, this is the knitting needle collection that you have. Isn't this, this is the collection that you found from your grandma, right? Like, that's an intense collection. That's a very intense collection. Aaron's the artist, but Cassandra has input. That makes a lot of sense then. The husband-wife duo. I love it though. Like, okay, but like Dark Queen of the Sea, I liked the original pattern. And I'm really curious to see what they're going to do for the new one. So we'll have to see. That is a very big stash. That's very fair, K. Barton. Yeah, that's still a hell of a lot. Like, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. I love this. That, like, those are some thick, that's a thick boy. That's a thick boy. I can sincerely be the only negative Nancy, but yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that pop up and I was like, oh yeah, hey, that's a stormy. <laughs> Pictures original. What is this? Oh my God, it's a taco. Shay. I love this ornament kit. And it has bees. Is that French knots? Oh, that's dangerous. That's cute. I love it. I love one, two, three stitches kits sometimes. You always work on those kits and they're adorable. I think she made the knitting needle hoarder herself. Oh, that's so sweet, Kay Barton. That stash is all and mighty. Look at that. Wow. That is a healthy stash. From Mill Hill, I love it. French knots, don't threaten me with a good time. Pony, you like French knots. While we look at some more pictures, I'm actually really curious about this. For our cross stitchers out there, There's a poll going. I want to know your your thoughts. French knots. Oh, heck yeah. Or, oh, heck no. Because we can't say hell yeah on uh, Twitch-related stuff. For some reason, Twitch will censor the word hell. So, it's, uh, it's like hell yeah or hell no. Tell me about your opinions on French knots. 
Oh my god, this stash of knitting stuff is wild though. And all the crochet hooks. Wow. That stash is wild. I put beads in places where French dots can go. See, I've never beaded, so I'm very terrified of it. I said, heck yeah, but I usually do colonials. That's super fair. Vintage, I'll take colonials. Colonials can go under the French knot category for this poll. I'll go with that. Stella, look at that cat. That cat stitch is coming out so beautifully. And I spy with my little eyes. They're not a needle mind or a grime guard. Colonial for French if I can't do beads. That's super fair. First artist trading card in the works. Oh my God, look at that. That's gorgeous. Stella, how long have you been working on the, um, on the cat stitch? The eyes on my last post were supposed to be French knots. That's fair. We'll definitely take a look at those in a second here. Luxor, <gasps> Luxor, babe, the wig you've been doing. Oh my God, Luxor. Honey, we need to get you, one of my friends 3D printed a peach crown. I'm gonna have to ask her where that 3D print file is because it would be it's literally like a similar size to what you've got, but it would look really nice. I think it would be a really good, like a good upgrade eventually because it's like, it just reminds me of it. Like the backup peach crown. But the wig styling is so impressive. Wait a second, you've got it in a scrunchie. Are you doing peach in like the tennis games or what are you doing? Cause this exact hairstyle reminds me of like Peach in Mario Tennis. It was the Stars and Stripes one. Oh, got you. That makes sense. Started a little while back, but I've barely gotten time to stitch. It's been busy. Uh, you. It has been a few minutes for bed every day. That makes sense. Doing Fallout 4. Oh, yo. Lexor, that's right. Yo, that's gonna be so good. I am so excited. I can't wait to see what this is fully going to look like. I had to start it when it came in from Sarah. That makes sense, Stella. The... It prints pretty good. Oh, okay. Here, check this out. Let's see. For the 3D crown. This is, okay, so this one comes out big. So my, uh, my aunt printed this one out for me. And this comes out large, like large and in charge. This one comes out really large and in charge. Cause I, so if anybody remembers, um, the princess peach crown that I had, cause I was going to do a peach cosplay at one point, but I broke the crown on stream. And this was the crown I broke. Back to quilting. Love you, Sobel. It's so good to see you as always. Look at all of this. So this is all the vault tech. This, this is all where the vault tech comes in. Are you using a Game Boy Advance? Are you using a Game Boy Advance for your pit boy? That is the most ingenious thing. Oh my lanta. That is brilliant. The Pip Boy Advance. Ah! <laughs> I love it. That is that is that is some really good work. What a use of some retro. That is fantastic. I know it's so sad to call a Game Boy Advance retro, but it is at this point. With all of your armor. Look at that. That is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see it fully done, Lexor. All right, French knots are... Oh, hell no. Okay. I see where this is going. 
French knots are no hell no. All right, all right, all right. Blue-eyed cat, progr uh, progressive soup on my elf coat. Two of 11 skirt panels done. Oh my God, you're knitting this. Cat, you are knitting this. You, my dear, are wild. That is, that is some work. Knitting panels for that? Whew. You, my dear, have some, some balls, some cojones. You gotta keep us posted about how this goes. Like, seriously, I need to know more. To those who voted no, I hope your coffee goes cold before you can drink it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. I have to go take care of a floppy bunny. Stella, have a great night, my love. Thank you for being here as always. Let me go post uh, the crystal I finished. Okay, perfect. Vintage made bags this weekend. Okay, those are adorable. I'm here for it. I love this. Stella, I have a, oh wait, Vintage, I have a question for you. This definitely has top stitching involved. Do you ever notice with top, like, am I doing something wrong with top stitching where it's like, sometimes the edges pucker? Or is that just a thing that can get sorted out by ironing? Like, am I doing something wrong in that situation? Because I just had my first experience with top stitching and I was like, ah! Lengthen your stitch. See, I have it set to the normal length. So on top stitch, I should make it longer than my regular stitching. Like, it shouldn't be the same okay good to know see I wasn't told <laughs> I had to guess so and I did not google because I'm an idiot so now I know for next time thank you vintage today we learned something thank you babe but bigger okay perfect Make sure to super press beforehand. Yeah, that too. I think I've got a walking foot somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, but babe, vintage, babe. This, the project bag situation, like project bag situation, I'm loving it. Look at those bright colors. It's like everything loud and obnoxious all at once and I'm obsessed because they all work together. I want this. This is so cute. Stitching with vinyl must be a pain in the ass though. Like seriously, vinyl must be the worst because that looks like there's vinyl on it. It's not that bad. That's Tula Pink's Alice theme. That makes a lot more sense. That Tula Pink has great fabric. Comet, look at you with your hat with the mushroom charm. Oh, you are such a cutie. Comet, I love it. Okay, this is a really weird comparison, but like the hat gives me Oogie Boogie vibes and I'm not mad at it. Like the color and like the way that that top flops over, it's giving me Oogie Boogie vibes and I'm not even mad about it. I love it. It's fun to make, putting wire in the brim, right? The Oogie Boogie vibes, right though? I totally thought that Tula, uh, that was Tula with the colors, right Angela? Like the colors really make the difference. I can't wait until fall so I can wear my witch hat all the time. Azzy, I feel this, like, I really can't wait to see what you make for fall. I love the charm, 100%. <laughs> pony, wait, okay, Pony. You and your shawls. You are a wild child, look at you. 
Or is this, wait, no, this isn't a shawl. This is a quarter to quarter. Scrap blanket? Scrap blanket. Okay, nice. I was gonna say, it looked like a shawl from the way that it, cause nobody ever pictures like blankets from a corner like that in a diagonal. But no, that makes sense if it's a scrap blanket and you're doing uh, like a corner to corner like that. That's brilliant. Cause I'm a chaotic little shit. I love you. Be the most chaotic little shit you want to be. Oh, that feels good. Hold on. There we go. Pop my neck. There we go. Now I feel better. Now I can feel like I can sit six inches taller. Current whip for my first time crochet. Kate Barton, your first time crochet. Hey, that's totally okay. And hey, tension. Kay Barton, biggest tip we could give you tension wise with your starting chains, if you feel like they're too tense, use a hook size up to create your starting chain and then switch back to the hook you're supposed to work with. That might help you out. Lexar, thank you for the host, babe. I appreciate you. I just cursed a bunch of folks with cold coffee. How can I be more chaotic? We'll think of a way. Chaos is beautiful. I will get the twisted hat or ogie hood eventually. Yes, get it. I just got custom cross stitch patterns to make my for my custom or for my cousin's wedding at the end of August. <gasps> what colors is it? Like what colors are this pattern? Lexor, I love you. Thank you so much. Get yourself some rest. You deserve it. Have a good night, babe. Beach, oh, that's gonna be so cute, so bowl. Okay, perfect. I won't show it on stream, just to be nice. Mama did all the hexagons. Pony, you did all them hexagons. Look at you. Look at you, Miss Thing. That's gorgeous. Your hexagon, like your joins are so clean. Look at those joins. Teach me your ways. Those are, those are clean. Like, your mom needs to teach, like, your mom's joining is just so stunning. Like, so well done. I can see where you get your talent from, though. Like, in all seriousness, you can clearly see where the skill comes from. It definitely passed down. <laughs> Mothball, oh my god. Saren. Saren! Ah! Look how cute! I love your yarn choices. You always have such great yarn choices, but like, oh my god. Ah! So cute! Saren makes all of these and then usually ends up selling them. And if you don't know Saren, like you definitely need to go check out her channel and her Etsy shop. Like, get it. She is so talented. Cute boss, right? Ah! Grabby hands, so many grabby hands. Take, tell Mama Pony that you all loan it. Yes, please, because we need to know how she joins, how she does her joins, Pony. And Saren with another dragon finish, a fairy dragon finish, to boot. <sighs> your talent scares me, my love. Like, truthfully, your talent scares me, and I love it. I may or may not have a beaded dragon kit sitting on my nightstand. Whoop, whoop! I love it. It is, it's sorcery shay. Truthfully. You know what? Tanya was able to pick up an S dragon and did it in a, uh, in 48 hours. Like Tanya did a full S dragon kit in 48 hours and never had beaded before in her life. I'm blown away. Right? Like, bah! I may get one then. 
Hey, I can't, I, here's the thing, I couldn't get it. I couldn't figure it out. But then again, I'm usually kind of slow with these things. It usually takes me some time to figure it out and feel confident. So. Cake, my love. Senpai will never notice you. I'm gonna, my heart hurts. Because I notice all of you. I'll be senpai and I'll notice all of you. But in all seriousness, what a cute pattern. And this is your, like, is this your first or second time stitching on 28 count? Because that is very clearly 28 count. <laughs> oh, listen, by Oh, my God. <laughs> I noticed you. It's okay. Because you were telling me how much you love stitching on 28 now. Oh, my goodness. Who is this sassy little angel? Look at this diamond painting. Squirrel Senpai, I'll take it. Can you do the linky thing again? Yeah, no worries. So the linky thing that Pix is talking about is this. This is designers for good, all the pictures that you just saw pop up. Um, we're doing a fundraiser this week. Um, this like The fundraiser actually ends this weekend. But if you donate $5 or more to a reproductive health organization and send us the receipt, you get access to 16 different patterns by tons of amazing cross stitchers. And um, we've raised almost $20,000, baby. We wanna hit that 20K mark before July 31st. So send that out to everybody you know, because the fundraiser ends on the 31st, darling. Yes, please do, cake, please do. Lurky, lurk, lurky, big lurker, lurkolston. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Check our group DM. Oh my God, what did you do? What did you do? What? <laughs> I love you. Meg with one G, Meg with two G's, Meg with three G's, Meg with four G's. Oh my God, I love you. You have a group DM without me? Rude. I know, right? <sighs> Sobel. That custom pattern is stun. Send me a picture when it's done, okay? I want to see it. Stormy, what? To answer your DM question, no? Anyway. Back to wherever the hell we were. For some reason, Discord kicked me back up to like the beginning of where we started today. Okay, but this... This diamond painting is gorgeous and I'm obsessed. So I got my new combat boots and they add two inches. Yes, I love it. Love that height. You sent a whip pick? Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Pony, have you been have you been resting, my love? Alexis! Holy shit, babe! Oh my god. You have crushed it on this set. You, okay, Alexis, my love, if you're here, you have kicked Duo's ass so severely. This is the, um, this is the Stardew Valley style. And this is a freebie, but like, goddamn. Mine is sitting over in the, in the naughty corner because I got really annoyed with all the green. Mine's in the naughty corner. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. I'm always lurking. Alexis, I love you. Yeah, mine's in the naughty corner. Like, look at you, babe. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. I gotta save that link for later. If you DM the seller and ask if they'll get you a copy or they did for me. Anyway. Okay, cool. Thanks, Cake. I have been just been a wild few weeks with Reno packing new carpet. Yeah. That's fair, Pony. 
Alexis, be proud of yourself, my love. K Martin, yours doesn't even get it up yet. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Mine's in the naughty corner. Sobo, look at all your quilting, my love. Look at all your quilting. You are crushing it, babe. It's the ear for Stitch. Look how cute. Ah! That's going to be a huge quilt. Did you intend on making it that huge? If that's made out of two and a half inch squares. Girl. Girl, if you are making this out of two and a half inch quilter squares, did you intend for it to be this giant? That is going to be so cute, though. Cake. With the embroidery, though. I put mine in the naughty corner a few times. Yeah, Alexis, that's fair. That's very fair. Cake, I really like this with the crystal. That's really cute. And the French nuts. <laughs> two and a half by two. Oh, Sobel, that's going to be wild. And this glows in the dark because of the outline. Ah, I love glow in the dark. That's awesome. We have a couple of things in sale. I haven't checked in sales. Okay, Stormy's got hers in. <gasps> you have made so much progressive soup on yours too. Stormy, you're killing me, babe. Back to Lurky Lurky Quilting. Sobel, I love you. Well, actually, you won't be lurking for long, because I think what we're going to do... I am just noticing what time it is. You're... Wait, Stormy, you're 60% done and almost out of the confetti zone? Holy shit. You're wild. You were seeing a bunch of screenshots? Perfect. I love you. I love the tea. Cake, I love you. Thank you. Okay, but listen, I just noticed what time it is. Frozen's not home yet, but it means he will be soon. So, I need to go clean out my kitchen a little bit. I need to clean some trash out of there. Thank you, Pony. Kim! Shit! Kim! Kim, why? Kim, I was about to raid you! What? player dies. They're gonna show us the way. <laughs> oh, Gorilla, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate you. Katie, hello. Thank you. Hello, hello. Uh, this happens way too often. Kim, it really does. What were you working on tonight? Kim is a friend of mine from the Stream Coach Academy days and also just makes the most adorable art. Like, let me show you. You were making Bujo stickers? Okay, I'm obsessed. Because Kim makes the cutest things. So, like, some of my art on my iPad's a little crazy, so I will apologize in advance, but kapow. Um, I have Kim stickers from, like, here to here, and then I have more Kim stickers and more Kim stickers, and then I have more Kim stickers and more Kim stickers and more Kim stickers. Like, your stickers give me life. And I have more Kim stickers on my floss storage. So, like, listen, you need to follow Kimly Cat Fay. So then that way you can know when the sticker drops are coming because they're perfection. They're perfection. <gasps> Hi, my name is Liz. I'm Sleeping Luna Designs. I'm a squirrel, okay? I crochet, I cross stitch, I diamond paint, I sew, and I play games on occasion. Kim, absolutely. Pose, yes. Always. Yes. Please. I love you too much. Okay, what were you working on? Let me see. We actually just were doing show and tell, so this is perfect. Oh my god. I need 
every single one of these now. I needed these yesterday and didn't even realize it. I will lick the screen if it gets it to my home faster. Hubby just brought me, bought me, or brought me a cake with a fork stuck in it. Nominee, the cake means that your husband can stay. We like him. <laughs> we don't know why. <laughs> because licking means claiming. So if I lick something, therefore I claim something. So like what you do, you, you say this and you're like, eh, lick. Okay, I claimed it. It's mine. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the chaos. Do it. I dare you. Lick the screen. You ain't gonna. Just uh, swipe. <laughs> Kim, you are just a gem. I love you so much. But we are actually about to sign off so I can go make dinner. I got to clean up some of the kitchen first. So keep your raid calls to, to Kim's crew. That's such a kid thing to do. Kim, do you know me? Do you know who I am? I'm a child at heart. And we have Supernatural. And Lord of the Rings game. We got dance. Enjoy that dance break. And the alert chaos. Enjoy your chaos. <laughs> Loop and Katie, thank you so much for those follows, my love. <laughs> and duck rolls. I love duck rolls. But listen, we're going to go and hang out um, with somebody now that, you know, Kim ruined my plans. Um, <laughs> did we even stream without a dance break? I know, right? See you around, enjoy your dinner, thank you. But Kim's crew, keep your raid calls. Let's go and hang out with somebody. Soap Passion's on tonight. That's literally the only person showing up in my, in my list. So we will go see Soap Passion. They are most likely doing Soap and Tell, which is the same as our show and tell, but um, we'll go send some love that direction. And all you gotta do is stay put. So here is what we do at the end of a story. From the beginning of the moon emojis to the end of the moon emojis. Get that on your clipboards. Let us go and say hello. And I will be on with Pick Stitch tomorrow. So Pick Stitch, he's having his second anniversary. It's his second birthday stream. So I will be over there from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific which is six to nine Eastern. He's gonna be streaming all day though, so I highly recommend you go and hang out with him. And then on Sunday, we'll be back doing some more crafting of some variety. Thank you, I was just writing that out. Thank you, Tanya. But I will see you all over with Soap Passion, stay put. We'll get you all there and um, I love you. Thank you for such a fun stream. Thank you for all of your talent. I'll see you really soon, okay? <laughs>